What's going on, Comic World? It is me, the Comic Guy, and I'm here with some big old news on the last two episodes um, for Wednesday on the Arrow and for Thursday on Legend of Tomorrow. Hope you guys didn't miss the shows. It was both incredible shows, so I hope you guys are ready to everything I'm going to tell you. Um, if you haven't seen the show, this might be a little bit of spoiler for you guys, so... Make sure you tune in and make sure you like and subscribe to my page because I've been talking about all about the comic universe, all about games, and everything that you guys are interested in into this whole geek and nerd world that I'm completely in for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is about The Flash. Wednesday night was the, um, the new episode on Arrow. Um, make sure you always tune in every Wednesday, 8 o'clock in the CW. And let me tell you about The Flash. It was a great episode um, starting off. Um, now um, the Green Arrows is, is making a new team. And um, in the beginning, as you can see, that Wild Dog is running on, on the rooftops after some uh, uh, bad guy. And... He shot him, and as soon as he was about to jump, he tripped over there. And as soon as he was going to go splat, here comes Arrow and shot him um, with an arrow and kind of tied him up and said, hey, come and join my team. And let's see, um, they all show to get together, and suddenly he's showing Wild Dog, Curtis, and Artemis about to make a team, but um, they don't really trust uh, the, um, the Arrow. Um, so he don't know, you know, they, they really don't trust him. So there's, there's a little um, trust issue uh, forming his big team. So he's like, you know what, forget it. I'm going to go ahead and work on my own. And I start finding out that there's a, a new vigilante out there that is Ragman. I don't know what you guys think, but Ragman looked pretty sick. Um, I love how his suit is actually alive. And he actually... Um, came up and here goes Wild Dog uh, kind of tackled him and grabbed a piece of um, a cloth from his suit and Felicity finds out that that suit is uh, pretty much ancient and then Arrow says you know what I'm going to go ahead and, and, and switch it up I do need a team because his last team kind of disbanded and he was pretty much didn't know what to do uh, up and down he did lose a lot of friends in his old um in the old episodes, and he's like, you know, I don't want to lose anybody else. I don't want to trust anybody else. But Felicity kind of like, hey, uh, make sure they trust Oliver. They don't trust the Green Arrow. So make sure you tell, let them know. Pretty much let them know that you're, you're um, Oliver Queen. And all that comes to, um, he goes against Church. He's fighting Church. He almost um, got beat up by Church, and he calls a ragman. Ragman comes and saves his life. They go to the rooftop, and he tells Ragman about, you know, come join my team. Ragman pretty much tells him the story about how his father kind of put the cloth on him and saved his life when, um, remember, guys, in episode of uh, Genesis, um, the, the bomb was about to hit uh, Starling City, and Felicity kind of made it go to a different city and kind of blew up the city. So that the suit kind of protected him, so he was actually um, against... Armatech that was actually the people that created the bomb. And he tells them, and Oliver pretty much tells them, look, I understand everything that you're going through. I've been in the same situation. You're, my father kind of, you know, um, lost his life trying to save me. So I kind of understand. But, you know, now I have to honor him and keep going. So Ragman's kind of in the same situation. Um, so he kind of is going to join the team. But let's see when. We don't know yet. He's probably um, pretty much thinking about it. So the Oliver, a Green Arrow, he does decide to go ahead and form his team again. And now he's given uh, Wild Dog, uh, Curtis, and um, Artemis the chance to go ahead and create a team. And he does take the hood off and lets them know, hey, I'm Oliver Queen. I'm just a Green Arrow. And they said, okay, now that we know, we kind of trust you, um, let's go ahead and do that. And then that's when the training um, begins. Um, let's see what's going on. Going to go on. Um, the big bad villain in this one, it is Church, and this is going to be Prometheus, and he is uh, a badass so far. What we've seen, he's after the Green Arrow. We don't know who he is. We don't know why he's after the Green Arrow, but let's find out um, in the next episodes of this whole season. So it's actually going to be great. So always remember on the CW eight o'clock um, on Wednesday nights. Don't miss out. Arrow is just 
freaking awesome. So always make sure you you tune in to that. Um, next thing I want to talk about is Legend of Tomorrow. Season premiere for season two came out on Thursday, 8 o'clock on the CW. And I um, hope you guys didn't really miss out. It was totally, totally awesome. A lot of um, um, Easter eggs came out in there. Hope you guys didn't miss it. Um, pretty much... Uh, um, Nate Haywood, he comes out in, in the beginning. He's going into into Starling City uh, Mayor's office, and, and then suddenly Oliver Queen comes out, and he pretty much knows that Oliver Queen is uh, the Green Arrow. Is gonna know, hey, something's going on with uh, Sarah and and Adam, and you know, and they need help, and they go under the under the sea and finds out that the um, the time wave um, waiver is down there. And they find Heat Wave, and Heat Wave pretty much tells the story and what everything happened, and how they go back to 1942 to stop the big atomic bomb. And when it's about to blow up, boom! Big surprise. Damon Dark is in Legend of Tomorrow back in the day, and he is one of the main villain in the show. So let's see. Maybe he's gonna be the main villain for the rest of the show. Don't know how long it's gonna last, but let's see what happens. Um, right when the atom bomb is about to explode. The time waiver gets in the way, and right before it blows up, uh, Rip Hunter decides to um, spread out the team through time to save their lives, um, and he does that and pretty much uh, saves Heat Waves, uh, see, Heat Waves, but or whatever you guys want to call it, saves his, his life. And now we don't know if Rip Hunter is actually dead or is he trapped in time somewhere um, in between times. So let's see what happens. Um, and uh, so they go back, they save everybody, they pretty much go through time and picks up. Uh, Nate Hay was going to be the, the, the main, um, he's actually Citizen Steel, so he's actually, uh, he's going to be part of the team now. He's going to, he is not replacing Rip Hunter, but he knows about time, and that's when um, the everything comes in and, and the whole thing. Um, they go back, and the big surprise Uber Thon, um, the Reverse Flash comes out. So now Uber Thon, the Reverse Flash, is teaming up with Damon Dark, knowing that um, he's from the future. Let's see what happens in the next Legend of Tomorrow. Um, it looks totally awesome. Um, right at the end, the Justice Society of America comes out. So that's going to be another interesting thing. Let's see what else they're going to come out. Um, so there's more superheroes. Um, so let's see what's going to go on on next episode. And don't miss out. Um, don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, it looks for me like Oliver Queen is like the main hub of this uh, Arrowverse. Um, he came out in the Flash um, season premiere. He came out in the Legends uh, season premiere, uh, season one season premiere. And he is like the midpoint of, of everything surrounds around him since he is uh, the CW first hero of DC. Um, this season, remember, Smallville was way back in 2011, but bringing back he, um, Arrow's been the, the whole into this whole new universe. So, um, let's find out what's gonna happen in the next episode. Make sure you guys tune in every Thursday, CW 8 o'clock, um, Legend of Tomorrow. Um, make sure you tune in um, this weekend. I ain't gonna be streaming on some Infinity Warfare beta. Um, it looks pretty awesome so far, so I did play a couple of games. Um, I love how the graphics and everything, but I am going to be streaming some games so you guys could see, and I'm going to be commenting commenting on them. Um, if you guys feel like you guys want to play the game, hit me up in the comments below, press like and subscribe, and I might uh, give you guys a beta code. I have one beta code left. Um, so make sure you guys tune in. I might give you um, a beta code if you guys go ahead and comment. Um, the first comment below will get a beta code so they can go ahead and play Infinity Warfare. Um, so thank you guys again. Make sure you like and subscribe my page. See you guys next time.